back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a fall cleaning video because my place is dirty and I'm feeling like I need to cleanse and clear the energies, let go of things I don't need, just like refresh the area because it's fall. The fall autumn equinox just passed and it's perfect time to kind of just let go and welcome in fresher, newer, more relaxing vibes and energies. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this with my hand? So anywho, we're gonna do a little quick uh, clean with me video. Hopefully this motivates you to also clean your space and organize and welcome in some more positive vibes. I'm also gonna be showing in this video my little like fall altar that I wanna create to also just honor <laughs> the changing of the seasons and fall itself. So stay tuned for this video and See you in the next one. Bye. do our best to keep it clean because it just gets really overwhelming in a small space when there's a clutter everywhere and I do not like clutter. <laughs> we find that also with our cat. She sheds a lot so we need to make sure we keep that in check, especially with the floors. And just all the dust that accumulates somehow. I still don't understand the science behind dust, but clearly it's everywhere and it never seems to get better. <laughs> Technically, I'm allergic to animals, so having a cat and sleeping with a cat has made that a little bit difficult, but I wouldn't want it any other way because I love Cleo. So I just do my best to make sure that things are cleaned up and we get as much of our hair out of our apartment as possible. Like I said before, I try to use cleaning products that are not as toxic and a little more sustainable and natural. I've done some experience, experiments before making my cleaning products, but they don't always turn out the best and they don't seem to last as long or get off as much of the dirt and grime and whatever grease. So I'm still working on that. If I had more space, I think in this apartment I would be able to make more cleaning products but for now I just use what I have but I like the thief one because of the smell and it's just a great scent for fall anyways. So yeah like I was saying a lot of dirt and dust accumulates. I do like keeping the windows open just to like let in that breeze but I'm sure <laughs> a lot of dirt comes in. So me and Brian are going to take out our futon bed so that it can air out and get a little disinfected by the sun. Meow. The bathroom is by far my least favorite areas to clean. <laughs> this gets the most dirty. I guess that in the kitchen. 
But anywho, here I am just cleaning up our bathroom, making sure to sanitize. I saved this old bamboo toothbrush that I had, and I use that to kind of clean out spots that I can't get to, especially in the bathroom. And I'm just adding some baking soda here um, to clean up the grime that collects in our sink. And yeah, I just keep the toothbrush with all my other cleaning supplies and it comes in handy. So if y'all have a toothbrush that you need to let go of, <laughs> just keep it for cleaning purposes. So glad we don't have carpets because I feel like carpets attract a lot of allergens and dust and mold. But here Brian is just sweeping. My routine is usually to sweep all the floors and then swiffer and then mop. So that's what we're doing here. <laughs> so much dirt from outside when she's an outdoor indoor cat and I'll find her paws randomly all over our white cabinet so here I am just cleaning that up and I'm just doing some laundry for a while we didn't have a wash and dryer so I am so grateful for this wash and dryer that our neighbor gave us it has been so helpful in doing laundry and now here I'm just using an incense match that I got from a friend I don't usually like incense, but something about this incense I just vibe with. I'm gonna light it and then cleanse and clear the energy in the space, especially the corners where a lot of stagnant energy tends to hide. Using the flame and the smoke. This is something I do more often than just when I clean. So I wanted to show you here what I do. Wave it around. Do some infinity symbols. Set an intention. All that good stuff. So this little spot is above our furnace, which we rarely use, but I wanted to create like a little fall altar and I had this idea. And so I took down what was already up there and then I gathered some things I had in the house and just created a little spot to not only bring in some fall vibes, but an area to just kind of honor the changing of the seasons and welcome in all the goodness that the fall and autumn equinox brings. There's some candles, a little blue pumpkin holder, which I'm not sure I want to put in it, a little fall bead thing, I'm not sure what it is. I also added um, a sage bundle actually that I bought in Idaho was local to the area that I was in when I was in Idaho. And have lavender, yarrow, and sage. And they work synergistically with something they grew together, which is what the lady who harvested it was explaining to me. And I love lavender. I'm not a huge fan of sage, but Okay, so this is a white candle, and white candles are great for cleansing energy and spaces. So this one I just let burn for a while because I really wanted to focus on really releasing the stagnant energy, cleansing the frequencies, the vibrations in the space, which was kind of magnified since we were <laughs> doing a lot of cleaning anyways. So this is what it looks like 
It's just very simple. I love the colors. And I'm super proud of it. I know it's like a random place to put an altar, but also with a cat, you gotta be creative, guys. <laughs> Especially with open flames. So here's the bedroom. Like I said, the futon's outside, but it goes there. We swept the whole floor, swiffered and mopped. That's Cleo's chair. I refuse to get rid of this chair, even though I can't sit on it because her hair is all over it. <laughs> That's our portable AC. And I closed the blinds right now because this is when a lot of the heat comes in. So I wanted to keep it cool in here. Um, but yeah, we swiffered everything, dusted. Yeah, looks a little messy right there because obviously that's for the bed. <laughs> that's my desk. Um, and yeah, it's our little small room, but it works. And then out here is the kitchen. So it's a little messy over there because we have a lot of fruit. But I did all the dishes, put away the dishes, cleaned the sink, cleaned some of the counters and the fridge, as well as the cabinets. Um, cleaned this area, Cleo's area, took out the trash. There's the little altar right here. <laughs> Started doing some laundry, so that's over there. And then we just swept here. Cleaned this side bathroom. I did the whole bathroom. Looking pretty good. Yeah, had to uh, scrub the bathtub. Clean the toilet as well as the sink. Just like, you know, freshened it up. There's a little altar space on top of the heater, which we rarely ever use. The white candle's burning to continue to cleanse and clear the energies in the space. And I just love it. I found some leaves outside. <laughs> There's finally some dry leaves. Yeah, and that's our space. Mirror. Okay, we're finally done and I'm a hot mess. My hair, it's just one of those days where my hair just doesn't want to do its thing. So, looking forward to that char. But we finished, me and Brian cleaned for about an hour and a half. Even though we have like quite a small space, you'd be surprised at how dirty it gets, especially with a cat. So, yeah, we did a great job and I'm still waiting for some things in the laundry to be done as well as the futon to finish um, disinfecting outside by the sun. Something I definitely need to do more often, which is just taking the futon outside to kind of air out and get, dis get disinfected by the sun's rays. Um, especially because it just collects a lot of dust and you know dirt and hair so yeah that's still outside once I bring that in once the laundry's done I will make the bed but I'm gonna do that later y'all have seen me make that bed <laughs> if you haven't checked out the video of why I sleep on a futon please check it out I will link it down below or maybe here somewhere in the video but yeah that's the end of the video so I appreciate if you watched it and if you like this content and want to see more subscribe like and comment and I'll see you again Hopefully soon.